suburban couple has gone from desperation to elation in a matter of a week. They own a modest coffee bean business and a huge order that should have led to better days went from good to bad to then worse. But a simple social media blog exploded and as Patrick Elwood explains now they are all abuzz with good vibrations. From the outside you'd never know that a coffee lover's nirvana awaits. Just one sniff inside Modest Coffee's West Chicago headquarters, there's no mistaking, you've entered a premium coffee connoisseur's castle. Started in the kitchen on a popcorn popper. It's the pride and joy of Marcus Contaldo and Jenny Trillick. This married couple and parents of three daughters are nine years into this mom and pop operation. They specialize in single blend coffee and have been recognized with the James Beard equivalent award of the coffee world. Right now we've got Costa Rican coffee, Honduran coffee, Kenyan coffee, and we're always chasing the harvest. Like we're always looking for the freshest coffee. But what a tossy turvy go of it as of late they've had. After reaching a deal with a broker and a distributor, months and months ago, Modest Coffee got an offer they couldn't refuse, a chance to sell their premium product on Walmart's website. 6,000 bags, about three months supply, is what they estimated they'd need to get to the distributor. But the caveat was they wouldn't get paid until all those roasted beans were received at Walmart's distribution centers throughout the U.S. and sold. But we thought this would happen within, you know, a few weeks. But due to that dreaded communication breakdown and no fault of their own, they ended up with 36,000 bags. Again, no payment until all of it was sold. So all this time down the line and endless wrangling back and forth, the deal was off. So we've now been several months into this and uh, they're like, come pick up your coffee or donate it. So now we've got pallets and pallets, 30 some odd pallets of coffee filled nine feet tall of coffee. Um, and what do we do? With bills to pay, $200,000 in credit card debt, payroll to meet and a family to feed, they have three daughters who, by the way, also work at this homegrown business as well. It was time to think outside the box. This, while still servicing their 130 existing customers of independent grocers on down to the corner coffee shops across the city and suburbs. So as it goes, desperate times call for those desperate measures. An incredibly stressful uh, set of months and weeks. One week ago, they shared their story on social media, explaining their ordeal. They offered their coffee at half off, about eight bucks for a pretty hefty bag, and their 911 call for help was answered. It started as a blog and took off from there to social media. It spread like wildfire. The response from the public, they say has been overwhelming. Complete strangers on the internet placing one box orders. I think about it, I would like want to cry. All you have to do, say Marcus and Jenny, sometimes is just put it out there. Most people, um, if you give them an opportunity to help and they trust you, I really do feel like um, that they're gonna try and help. And they did, asked and answered. Patrick Elwood. WGN News. So here's the thing. Most of the caffeinated coffee is gone. There is still some decaf. Modest Coffee can be reached at its Facebook page or website, which we will link to our website, WGNTV.com.